محمد 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 تنمتتي رسول الله وتنبي يا حبيب الله تنمتتي رسول الله نويتنا به يا حبيب الله رسول الله محمد ابن عبد الله حبيب الله محمد في قلوبنا So let's have the first session of the motion and check up. I want you to write your current feeling. Your current feeling. How do you feel? I'd like you to write your emotion in this speaker. Write your feeling in one, one way. Write your feeling in just one way. Okay? The symbols can be either we're going to clap the hands, that means the clappings, that's a sign maybe talking about days are moving or, stop. or stopping. Or sometimes we have that sign like it. And maybe the other gestures, we're going to use even the gestures, making sure that you're going to grab your attention when moving from one activity to the other activities. That clear? Okay. We are coming from the break. We have a break when we are coming back. Stand in the circle. Then we do like this. Our friends are coming. Okay? To do our attention, we make sure that they don't do this inside. Okay? 
So now we move on another game. We shall have another game for this concept. How on I miss it? Very interesting game on how to do this concept. Each of us will come for it, yes? And we do the construction. That is the uh, one. And then we talk. And then before we begin on anything, and then we talk, we choose a topic. We talk about the topic. <coughs> then we begin to run. Then we talk. Then we pick another name tag for the following. This part, then it comes forward, give him the top, he explains the top, and then the extra goal like that. So maybe you start with a volunteer. Who can volunteer to come forward here? Who can volunteer? Okay. Um, now, I want to talk about the top. Choose the top. Be talking about that topic, just one minute, okay? The topic is concerning any topic. Any topic. For example, a book, <laughs> a pen. That's not about pen. But now, you use one minute to explain about a chosen topic. Just explain. Say, so just push. Means just push it into explanation. But it's just one minute. Okay, start. The topic that I'm going to choose is the concerning with reading the, the book. Uh, I have decided to choose this topic because we know the book is a collection of papers which contains the information regarding various things. And through the books, we are capable of obtaining various kind of knowledge. And the books contains different kinds of books. There are books regarding with the religious teachings. There are books which are concerned with the environments. There are stop, stop, stop. This is Kali. Kali. So, of course, uh, pick another ID, any ID here, then you call a person here, and then ask him to, ask him to choose the topic and explain. Okay. Any? Yes, Mr. Leo? <laughs> ah. Can you choose any topic and you have, I mean, as you express, yes, give, a, give a topic. Oh. Tell him what topic you should talk. Speak about the uh, teacher. Anything about the teacher. Okay, thank you. I can talk a little bit about the teacher. That the teacher is a person who can provide who can provide the material to a student. A teacher you can differentiate a teacher from from student. Uh, a teacher can have some things to to lead to the uh, to the uh, student or to lead to the uh, to the people. That's what I can talk about the teacher. Thank you. Um, you still have time. <laughs> <laughs> you still have time. Thirty <laughs> <laughs> seconds. Oh, okay. Thank you for for more for more times. Yes, <laughs> more about the teacher. Uh, it's an it's an, a good example. Can he or she can be a model? To, to any person in the in the community, that one can be categorized as a teacher. So thank you. Much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Tell us about the 
color segregation. Color segregation. Can you go back? Just a minute. Our name is Mr. Maruma. I'm here to explain about color segregation. Color segregation is a process of is one of very bad activities who performed by someone to discriminate their they, 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 they are human by any actions, especially in colors. For example, black people who black people who, who eradicate the the, the white people or all, all white people who discriminate the black people in terms of color. Thank you. You have 10 seconds. More than 10 seconds. Yes. Okay. Yes, much. Thank you. Yes, can you choose a topic first and then choose the ID? The advantage of technology in education. Choose a technology. Technology in education. Say technology. Yes. Technology. Technology. Yeah. Okay. Technology. Yeah. Let's do the idea. Nicole Kesson. Asun. 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 Ah. You forget one name. Asun. Okay. Thank you. Aluma. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you? Okay, uh, I'm here to talk about the technology. When you talk about the technology, technology is uh, advancement skills which involve the innovation for different uh, ideas, eh, attitude, and, uh, and uh, values uh, depend on that. Uh, and the different discover for different uh, ideas. We talk about ideas and innovations so for different things which is new compared to that existing before. So technology in education is very important because technology in education can be used to simplify the teaching and the learning uh, perspective and the materials. A student can be able to understand it very clearly. Example, by using the projector, uh, can be, is one among the things which is able to accelerate they understand more understanding to the student by using projectors, eh, TVs, computer. This is technology. Uh, technology is very important, and it can be used in many aspects. That I, that I was just talking about education. Also, technology can be used in business. Can be used also in. in, in, in. Thank you very much. Please, before moving, let's let's take. This topic is no, no, no. for that one. Uh, for <coughs> the first speakers who just came here and then choose a topic and then uh, try to describe. What do they, what, what do they, did they do? And I said, what did they do? The first, the second, and the third. What did they do? Yes. What were they doing? Yeah. And what were they doing? They were giving some questions and explaining according to their perspective. Yeah, they were explaining. They were explaining. What else? What are they doing? What were they doing? They were just choosing their favorite topics and just talking a little bit about them and choosing the other person with the other topics and to proceed with that process. No, when they are here in front of you, what are they, what they doing after giving the topic? Explain. They are explaining. What's another way? 
some sense. facial expressions and some They were presenting. They were making presentation. Presentation. Why do you say they are making presentation? They give information. Okay? Yes. They are providing information to you. And you are just listening. Right? Yes. They are the one talking. And you just listen, right? Okay, can you relate this to what you are doing in class? We are presenting the topic. We are telling the students, we are telling the learners. We say we are pushing. We are what? We are doing? We are pushing. We are pushing what? We are pushing what? The information, right? The ideas, the concept. So what these people are doing there? Pushing. Okay? Yes. Say pushing. Push, push. They were pushing. Now let's move to another level. Another level that the, 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 the following people will come here, now they will do the opposite. What will be the opposite? Asking information. What? Asking information. Asking information from? The nurse. Okay? That's what we call pulling. They will be pulling, right? What the opposite of push? <laughs> push, pull. So the, the next participant, after giving the topic, he keep pulling. Okay? From the learner. Not say anything. So ask a question. Give the question. Continue. Okay. Uh, I picked the topic about concern about the physical exercise. So, physical exercise? Yes. Mr. Mwini come here and present about the physical exercise. Mwini now is pulling. Mwini come here for? That concept pulling. pulling. So it's all me to Just explain it. what's the pulling. We give the pulling information from the learner. So we want you to pull. Right. One minute. Yeah, thank you very much, my brother, for giving me this chance. First of all, my name is Mwini Amani. So but I'm going forward the questions which is given by my brother is about the uh, exercise. So this exercise I'm going to give to audience or listeners. So the first uh, question is about uh, the advantage advantage of uh, listening. What are the advantage of listening? What's the topic you're all about? What's the topic? The topic is about uh, exercise. Topic? Exercise, exercise. Physical exercise. Physical exercise. Physical exercise. So what do you to pull from the learners? about that topic. Okay. <coughs> yeah, Ask the questions. Ask the learners to give you information about the physical exercise. Okay? Right. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I've just given the physical ex exercise. Physical exercise. So this is the one of our advantage, especially for the learners, I mean the teachers, soon after completing I'll give you an example of what should you do. Ask the person. What is physical exercise? Okay. Hmm? I need to ask. What type of exercise? Okay. So yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Now, what is? Yeah. What is the physical exercise? Physical exercise. My class, please. Can you tell me? Then what you just knows about what is the physical exercise? Physical exercise. Yes. It's okay. It's okay. Simply, I can say physical exercise. Uh, it's any work which involves the parts of. Human body, which will make him to use energy. That's physical exercise. It can be running, or it can be walking, or lifting the heavy objects. It just involves the physical body. That's the physical exercise. Thank you very much, my brother. So what he said, he said the physical exercise. The first thought just involve the body. You have to to work. Don't you? Less. So if you need it to be as much active according to my brother over there, he said you are doing uh, physical. So that is yeah, good uh, yeah, they are good for yeah, anybody who just having another idea apart from him? Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, for my side, physical exercise is something which involves relaxation and contraction of the body muscles. For example, when you are doing a push-up, that is the muscles contract and relax. So most time, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Just choose a topic and uh, choose a topic.
choose an ID where a person was going to come and they pull from that particular topic. Choose a topic first. A topic, advantage of computer. What are the advantages of computer? Just a computer. 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 Yes, computer. Yes. Is there a card? The ID card? So, it's a simple piece. It's a simple one. What a simple one. Now, don't talk. Just put. Don't talk about it. Assalamu alaikum wa My topic is about computer. Maybe let's go straight to the point. What is computer? Mr. Nyoha, can you tell us what is computer? A computer is a device which we are used to simplify our work, like typing during writing information. For example, typing information during when we do provided to students. So just is a simple machine which is simplified our way. Thank you very much. Mr. Maluma, can you give us another meaning of computer? Yes. It is an electronic device used to receive and manipulating data, especially information. Thank you very much. Any other idea about computer? Yes. Yeah. Computer is is an electrical device which used it to interpret and to store information. Thank you very much. Another idea? Yes. Computer uh, is a device which contains hardware and software. The hardware is all about the external appearance of the, that, such as uh, keyboard, but software, that is the in internal processing of the computer, which is store information, manipulate. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Just yes, choose a topic first. My topic is machine. Ustaz Kisumu, welcome. My topic is machine. It's my field of study. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Your field of study? It's very good. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi Okay. My topic is concerning about machine. Okay, the first one, I needed to ask you all about the definition of machine. Who can tell me what is the meaning of the term machine, by the way? Yes, Mr. Simba. Thank you. Machine is anything which simplify works. <coughs> Good. Good. Another one. About the definition of machine. Anyone? Anyway. Okay, that is enough. Who can tell me what are the types of machine? Yes? There are two types. A simple and complex machine. There are two types of machine. Which is simple machine and complex machine. Who can tell me? What is the meaning of the term simple machine? Who can tell me the definition of simple machine with a single example? Simple machine. <coughs> yes. Simple machine yes, that are just like machines which you use to, to perform simple activities, just like uh, simple activities. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and Mr. Oba, thank you. Thank yes. You so Next level, yes. they choose a topic, yes. you choose an ID, yeah. and uh, the next level is Mal Shafi is going to explain what uh, the person is supposed to do. Yes, okay. So the main brothers now will come to, 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 to what we call balancing. Okay? The first level was pulling, I mean pushing, push. right? Okay. Pushing, that is giving information, just. The second level was pulling from the runners. Now the third level is to balance between the two. So okay? Balancing between pushing and pulling. Okay? Mix. Pushing at the same time, <coughs> pulling. Okay? Okay. My task now is to choose a topic. That the the topic which is chosen is ocean. All ocean. about ocean. Ocean. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mr. Hassan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In front of you, I'm going to talk a little bit about the ocean. Ocean just like a water body, but it is the biggest water body when we compare it with the other water bodies, just like a river or the lake. <coughs> then 
I would like to ask you any more things about the ocean? Anyone, please, who can tell us about it? Anything from that can be extracted from the ocean? Anyone, please? Yes, sir. Ocean, I can say ocean is a part of a world. It consists, it consists the water which contains living and non-living things. That is enough. Thank you. Another one to talk a little bit about the, the ocean? Yes, sir. Ocean, this is one among the largest water bodies which is to separate the land and the water. Okay, thank you. Another one? Yes? I would like to give a few examples of the oceans, like the Indian Ocean, the Pacific Ocean. So those two are examples of ocean. Okay, thank you. And I want to get just to share with you the the last thing about the ocean, so the ocean setup. Thank you. Thank you very much. Just choose a topic and then choose a Choose a topic. The topic I want to choose right now is about the classroom. Just talk anything about the classroom. Ajibo. Okay, the topic he has been chosen is talk about the classroom. Uh, classroom, we can say that the place which learning can take place, the place where learning can take place. This is my idea, the term classroom mean, but my idea is not complete you can have more information about the term classroom. So, Sheisa, can you tell us what is classroom? The place, actually the place where knowledge can be exchanged, meaning from the teacher to the student, or between the student themselves. So it is just the place where ideas, knowledge can be transformed. Yeah. Is it true? The place where knowledge can be transmitted or exchanged by teachers and students or students and people. Yes. Yes, classroom is a special room where the learners are used to uh, deliver knowledge from the teacher or educator. Okay, thank you. Another meaning of the classroom is that the classroom is a special room in which students all learners and the teachers are interacting by exchanging their knowledge. Okay, anyone can add something about the classroom? So what I can add to my heroes about the classroom. Uh, classroom is a special place where now learning and the teaching are taking place. Thank you very much. I mean, it's over. Okay. the topic, Andy. Okay, the topic I chose is Lana. Elana. Elana. That's Ahmed. Elana. Elana. That's Yoma. Welcome. Okay, thank you, brother. Shalom alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I can say something about Elana. Elana is someone who received information from there. Uh, a status or, or, or a teacher. As we are uh, sitting over, over the chair, the facilitator was here, so they're giving us permission, so we act as a learner. But my knowledge is not a, a, an obstacle or a limit. So what is a learner? What is a, a learner? What is a learner? Yes, Mr. Rama, uh, Brother Rama. Uh, for me, I just want to try. Learner is a special guy, someone else who is willing to to deliver a certain knowledge value and the attitude from a teacher or someone else who deliver him or her a knowledge. Yes, and your brother going to Mr. Ramu that is just a willing yes brother and another is a person who intend to learn. So it is something like a, a voluntary activity. Learning is 
or not an activity that someone intends to learn. So it's a person who aims to learn something. He or she is a learner. Well, thank you, brother. Next thing. Thank you. Thank you so far. Just choose a, a topic and then. The uh, topic is say something about a pen. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, today's uh, topic is about a pen. Pen is something which is used uh, for writing, uh, notes, writing letters, writing something. But if you want to write um, a book, Maybe a lesson, we use it, we use a pen. What do you understand by the tape pen for your side? Yes? So as we have explained before about the simple machine, so it's just a, a simple machine that is used to write. Then we use a pen to write. Okay, good. Any other thing? Yes. A pen is just one of the Advice usually to help the students during learning activity, just like notes <coughs> and whatever. Okay, thank you. Anyone with a different list? Yes, a pen is a writing device which can be used to write on papers or manilas. Okay, and then someone just a pen for me. Thank you very much. Time is over. Just <laughs> choose a topic. And then the ID. How many ID will be? Only one. Only one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, just do the topic and the ID. Okay. Uh, the topic is bus diet. Bus diet. Bus diet. My pick. How do you balance that? <laughs> Okay, good morning everyone. So before before I explain what I perceive about the balance diet, uh, I want to brainstorm on what you understand by balance diet. Then I, I will add to what I have got from you. So what do we understand by the term balanced diet? Yes, balanced diet is a fully sufficient which contains all nutrients such as protein. Vitamins, fat, and so on. So it's a food substance that contains all nutrients, fats, protein, and I mean, about balanced diet. So after knowing the meaning, then, yes, yes, Mr. 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 Ramadan. Okay, balanced diet for me is the arrangement, is the proportion of all food nutrients. Not mixing uh, the food here yeah. with no uh, arrangement, good arrangement. And balance by adding, without uh, using the balanced diet, you're so going to face a number of illness or diseases like mal malnutrition, uh, diarrhea. If you are not able to propose your food according to your given instructions. So I, I can add by saying that by getting the balance diet, then our bodies will become fit. So our health will be maintained by taking the balanced diet. Another more idea about what we perceive by balanced diet. Yes, brother. I think there's a meal that contains all the essential nutrients. As I've been saying, including the protein, the fats, the raffinages, the carbohydrates without forgetting the vitamins and water. And this balanced diet is what that makes our health to improve and to fight against the various diseases. That's that. Thank you very much. Do we have more cards to make? No. We have been the last one, eh? Yes. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> yeah.
Uh, Raman, uh, brothers, uh, do you please stand up? Could you uh, stand up, please? Put your things. Now we move to the other activity. Uh, can we now arrange according to our first letters of our names? First letter. First letters of our names. A. Now we will stand. We make a line. A line. That's the first letter of your names. For example, someone is A. 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 B. C. Plus, plus, plus. Up to the Z. Okay. Yes. So let's make the groups. Uh, this one, one, two, three, four, let's make it group here. One, two, three, four, let's make it groups, second group here. The first task. The second task is what is the feelings of the the, first, I mean the facilitator, the one who was pulling, right? Remember about the pulling? What do you think are the feelings? For those who have been doing, I think everybody has done this. The one who was facilitating, the one who was present. The third question is. is what is the preparations a presenter should make? Okay? What are the preparations for the presenter? And what are the preparations for the facilitator? Right? So do that. Do you mind doing the questions? Are we clear on the questions? What do you think is the feelings of the presenter that is the pushing? What do you think is the feelings of the facilitator that is the pulling? What preparation should each? What preparation should each needs? Yes. 
see that one here, please? Charming, uh, sadness, moodless, and the moodless always come after if the student is not uh, uh, used to attend or to interact with the teacher. Actually, the teacher must be sad or moodless if the student asks the question and not return the feedback. But if the interaction is highly the, between the teacher and the student, the, the teacher must be happy by any means to those find the subject. So we can just say that the, the, the presenter is, is, is stressed, okay? It's anxiety, a lot of pressure, okay? In terms of feeling, right? The feeling of the, the presenter. Now let's talk about the facilitator. What's the feeling of the facilitator? We can talk about the facilitator's feeling in this case. Okay? Uh, uh, Facilitator's feelings, he or she is comfortable. Comfortable. And what she can present to learners. Because even those the contributions from learners are less, the facilitator is going to motivate them to contribute more on a particular concept. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Arara. What is it? What is the facilitator's feeling? Any other? All different opinions? Say the facility is comfortable. Yeah. Comfortable in the of the facilitator. Why comfortable? Because he is sure that I will ask the person, then they are going to be replied by someone else and not me. That's why I'm feeling comfortable, relaxing, because I'm sure that I'm asking the person, then I'm not the one who is going to answer their those questions. That's why I'm feeling comfortable. It is less different from the situation where you are, you are going to ask a question. It is quite different. That's how. Yeah. Yes. Uh, in preparation, we learn there are two types of preparation before preparation and after. And during preparation, I mean it's in the class time. Before, it means you are, you are going to arrange a lesson plan and this and this. Then during the class, 
how you are going to impact those uh, those preparation you, you you arrange before the class uh, before the period. So the preparation during the class how is how you how we are going to interact the students even maybe by making them in good, uh, group discussions or by giving them the question to get the feedback. Those are the preparation. The teacher should have all the presentation. Presentation here means you just push the information. So what information does the presenter need? Yes, please. Okay? Let me come to this uh, The preparation that the, the presenters need is just to have the topic of study first. After the presenter has the topic of study, he will need to, to have the objectives. During the presentation, there is something that the presenters will expect to get from the learners. So, we can just say that the presenter needs to memorize all the words. Okay? You told that someone was talking about that this test. So, you have to give the information in the correct manner. So, you have to memorize the information before you come to class. Right? Make sure that you get that. You have to tell the question to your fingertips. Right? Okay? Okay. Now, what about the facilitator preparation? What the presenter does the presenter needs? And this is the only point, right? <laughs> the facilitator needs to prepare the questions that he wants to obtain the information from the learners. What else? What else? So you have to prepare questions, good questions. When you have to ask questions, then you need to prepare questions. The other one, right? Definitely. What's another question? And I think, I mean, a facilitator, what he, he or she needs is just to give an uh, instruction to present a good instruction. Because once, I mean, he just given a uh, full I mean, instruction which is not good, it means the whole process it will be totally bad. Prepare the instructions, for example, how to prepare the guiding or now the discussion phase, okay? Because you are going to involve the learners, so how to prepare, help the guiding section, maybe you are going to focus on the group discussion, okay? So we need to prepare some guidance, how we prepare, how we divide the groups, hmm? how many people in the party, which question are we going to discuss, what type of sharing, okay? Now, what, what do you think? Can you compare the two? The, 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 the presenter and the person? Which one is easier? Which one is more difficult? Preparation. Which one needs more time to prepare? Presentation or presentation? <laughs> yes. Presentation needs more time. Okay. Why? How? You need to, to, to prepare questions, but you. The way you will be preparing the questions, you should know the, the topic you have studied first. Then it will take a time for you to do that. Yeah, for me, I think maybe the professor should be much competent enough, especially in the content. Because yeah, you have to be aware about it. You are, you are, you are subject first. So what? Because you, you know nothing which is the topic you are going to give it. So if you don't know, maybe you, and you are get that chance, you have to, to be aware, you have to get prepared. This is more difficult. Of course. Preparation, is it the facilitators or the questions? I want to see whether we can compare it, okay? Okay, for my say, they can say that the presenters is more complex than, than facilitation, because in, in facilitation, you, you just need some, some guidelines, and you give those guidelines to the one who is going to deal with, but presentation, you are the one who is required to do it for, for, you, for all. It means you prepare questions, then you are going to present them, then it, it takes more time for them to even to get feedback. But if you arrange some guidelines, then you give the task for them to deal with, then it will be more simple. So for my side, I can say presentation is more simple than presentation. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any idea. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Um, for my side, in case of time, facilitation is need time, but uh, pushing methods is not need time because the pushing methods the presenters assume that the learners is tabularas. You know, she know nothing. Therefore, the presenters need not to, to get feedback from, from them. But uh, facilitations, it need feedback. Before going from one stage to another, you are supposed to get feedback. And if the lesson not understood, then you are supposed to go back. So as to make sure the learners are participating and give the correct feedback in a particular course. That's all. OK. So I think some different here. People are saying to preparation um, for presenters is easier than the facilitation. But what can you say about this? I think it's about mixed feelings here. Now, let, let's, let, let's elaborate on the facilitation. Now, when we talk about facilitation, we're talking about the, for this just pulling, the next is pulling. You need, to prepare, you need to prepare questions. You need to prepare the topic. You need to prepare the, the objectives, OK? You need to prepare the discussion, OK? But when we come to the presenter, he just memorize the material. You just memorize the material and come with the information. Okay? You never think about the questions. Because after we are not there, to ask the questions, just put the question. We have one hour later there in the university. Okay, now we need to teach you. Last ten years, they don't need to be ready. What else do you mean? You just think, okay? Weather, the tradition of the atmosphere, what, what, what? There are types of elements of weather, temperature, what the you need. <laughs> okay, that, that's how we think about it. So, if you are really. Because when you talk of facilitation, when you come to class, you need to have all the, the things in hand. What type of the learner? Eh? What type of the group are going to make? What type of the questions? Eh? How, do I, how, do I, um, how am I going to guide the learners? Okay? How do I. How would they get to share their experiences? So for the first station, you need more time for preparation. OK? Right? Now, move to another level. <laughs> what is the feelings of the learners? What is the feeling of the learners during the preparation? What is the feeling of the learners? During presentation. What do you think is the feeling of the learners during presentation? <laughs> Why? No books. <laughs> yeah, no discussion on your books, those two activities. What do you think are the feelings of the learners during presentation? What do you think the feeling of the learners when you say, okay, what's the weather? What is the book? What do you feel? Now, so, I think 
What's the feelings of Bilama during presentation or during push? Now, what to share? During the presentation, learners can feel cumbersome. Cumbersome. Okay. What else? Are the feeling learners during the presentation? Yes. It's just like, it's just like boredom because it, it's just one side, it's one one way traffic. You listen to one person and you don't share anything. As a learner, I have to, to, to participate, but if I listen to one, one just one person, it's some kind of boredom. You may just so, so, so you say, people say it is boredom. Okay. What about the pulling, the facilitation? What's the feel of the learners? Yes. Uh, uh, for the case of calling, the learners will feel excited, they're participating, they'll feel superior, they're involved in, but they'll be enjoying the enjoyment. Yeah, I like the way of the brother Kiruna is involved. They feel involved, right? The learners will feel involved. What else? They will be engaged. Okay? <laughs> the learner will be engaged in the activity. Okay? okay? What else? What's the name? Yes, I'm active. Active. They will have to be able to be active. They will participate in their own. Learning, right? Now, what's the advantages of pulling? <coughs> As an advantage of pushing? Yes. The advantage of pulling is it leads to the class to be active listening and active learning. It takes place because once you involve the whole class, it will be active listening and active learning. Uh -huh. So, active learning, pulling, good, and good. Question, okay? So the pull is anything from learners. We say pull. When you say push, it might be it means the formation of the teacher. Now let's talk about the 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 disadvantage. If you talk of the pulling itself, you talk of the pushing itself, do you think it's enough? Just pull, 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 push, 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 push. Assessment that you are going to, to use, 
you will just ask questions, then they have to reply. But if you find they, they, do, not, they do not understand what you have given, then you have to clarify for them to, to understand more and more. So you need to, to balance between the two, two aspects. Thank you very much for that clarification. It's quite fine. Uh, you need to balance what I to get the feedback. Both sides need the feedback. Okay. You need to balance something because you come with a new concept. So you need to make the decisions. Maybe that's important in terminology. But using terminology, you know, it's <laughs> you have to give the definition of the, the, the terminology. So in the beginning, you need to, to give the, the information if you are necessary to use a new topic, right? Okay? So you need to balance, you need to have some pushing, right? At the same time, pulling. You need to clarify some of the concepts, misconceptions, and what they right? Don't just ask questions, they give the answers. Maybe they give wrong answers. Hey, okay, another question. Another question. Now, someone is giving the wrong answer, you ask another question. So you need to clarify. You need to paraphrase. Okay? Okay. Thank you very much. About the, I think we have discussed about the pulling, pushing, and balancing. Okay? How do you feel now? How do you feel now? first time. So whenever I cut the hand first time, you have to stop in front of a colleague and you have to introduce yourself. The introduction will include maybe what's your name, your experience, and so and so and so. That's the introduction I'm going to do. Then next I'm going to clap, then you're going to move again. Then whenever I clap again is stopping, you have to go to the next new person, not the same one, then the same you're going to introduce. Just one minute in every tablet. That okay? Now, would you please, 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 please put that chair somewhere? So, I'm going to move here around. So, move, 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
hotels in uh, in Opel. What else? In the pre open, I'll open. You say it's a pulling and pushing. Which is pertinent 
talk about the new era of education that is focusing on focusing on the new era of education focusing on learner experience right the new era of education is focusing on learner experience Google LXF Learner experience. So our focus is LX. Okay? LX means learner experience. Now we say it's only only learner experience. You say it is becoming a complete if it is active. So we shall talk of a learner experience, but you say it should be active and deep. Remember our, our own stage? Pushing. Active learning. Okay? <laughs> but we have been talking about, about not only active, it should be So we have a complete active deep learner experience. Now, so this is the whole about our. Okay. It's all about the program. The focus of the new era of education is the learning experience. To so have a complete learning experience for active, deep learning. So, the teachers, the role of the teachers in this program is active. <coughs> Your role is to, to apply, right? My role in the is transfer. Your role is to apply. What do you apply? To other students. Where? What do you apply? To apply what? Where? To apply what? Where?
the inside. Huh? Yes, how do you find the images the, the given by your Let's give the insights. And this one? Yes, please. Because of the images, they are made as active to get back to the session. Okay, thank you very much. Now, we are going to have a very interesting experiment. So, will you please put aside everything? Put your books, watch, phone. Fun. Fun. So, just anything which you hold here. Maybe the, the, the phone. The phone, the watch, the books. Put it aside. Look at my bottle. 
So we put the mark in this level, in our cuff. Almost a half. A half. Sure, each cup is 
where the scum has some water. Okay. Now, before, before go that, what was the main focus in the second round? The first second, first round, the focus was on my table at the bottom. And the water, to finish water, right? Bottle, to make sure the bottle is empty, right? To make sure that everything is being spread in this room. Whether one eight or not, the water should be water, right? Now the second one, what was the focus? Some will get even nothing. Yes. Okay. Now let's. <laughs> what? What's the second round? What does bottom do? I mean, what? Is the, what was the focus? The focus was saying our brother says the cups. Okay. What is cups represent? Learners. Okay. What happened to the teacher? What was the concern of the teacher? The teacher's intention was to make sure that every student has got a little concept for knowledge. Okay. With the minimum amount of work, right? So the minimum amount of work that we have, that the teacher is ensuring that every boy in the class is at least now, what does that line represent? That minimum. What does that line represent? The objective of the teacher. And then, the minimum of what I represent, the learning, right? 
to me. How to put that one in the classroom? Now, let me go for the back. Let me talk about the, the bottom of the first round. Talk about the bottom of the first round. And the water is in the content. The, the content. And the concern of the teacher is to finish the content. Regardless, <coughs> every learner has put the, the, the knowledge or not. How do you call that one? What's the name of this type of the teacher or type of Learning, okay? Yes. 
Now, what's your feeling? What's your feeling? The first step. of the learners. The first round, what's the feeling of the teacher? The one who was concentrating on the bottle and the water. Yeah. Now, what's So the first one, the teacher is concerned with the content, concerned with himself. If he's satisfied, he said, how many are these? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> the second part, the second round, the teacher is concerned with the, the lungs, right? Make it sentient. Learn experience. The teacher is concerned with the learners. Now, when you talk about the continuous assessment, what does it mean? In our case, is it is a kind of trying to check whether the learners are following what the teacher is doing and whether they are, are they on the track according to the value of the track, right? Now, when we talk about the learning outcomes, what does this mean? In this case, we talk about the, what the will will know, will be able to do, okay? By the end of God? That's what we do. Now here we talk about the corporate level, as I have said, is talk about that the learners are not empty. The learners can share experience, can exchange their experience, can add on. Every learner has something to add on. And that the teacher is looking for social information, right? Learners can also have some art, okay? Presented by the second model, what will happen? <laughs> what will happen?
then I said, I got shares. I need to do gum, then I said. Stand up, please. How do you find now? In both of the cups, how do you find? <laughs> okay, so uh, next, act uh, next activity is we are going to do a very, very important activity. That's what we are going to make you remember some activities which we did since the beginning of the opening of this session today, okay? In such activity, we are going to do something known as a word storm. A word storm. Something, a word storm. Is it a word storm? Of course here, we are going to make just a circle. Will you please come here? Let's make a circle. It's a very close circle. <coughs> so you are going to choke everything. Guys, just randomly. All activities which we did from the beginning. Very quickly, without the waiting someone else, whatever and whatever. So whenever I say start, please you can start very quickly. Pushing. Pushing, yes. Pushing. Pulling. Pulling. Pushing. 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 Balanced. 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 What else? Introducing ourselves. Introducing ourselves. Teacher centric. 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 First year. First year. Learner centric. Learner centric. Teacher centric. Assessment for learning. Assessment for learning. Learning interaction. Learning interaction. Learning outcome. Learning outcome. Minimum amounts. Minimum amounts. Water. 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 <laughs> Both on the cups. Both on the cups. <laughs> yes. Tea break. Tea break. Presentation of our feelings. Presentation of our feelings. Balance diet. Balance diet. <laughs> what is? Yes? Facilitate the feelings. Present the feelings. Present the feelings. Classroom. What? Classroom. 
preparation of presenters. Yes? Machines. Machines. Pen. Pen. Random movements. Random movements. Yes, good. Yes, very good. Let's sit down. Where is Tom? <laughs> Where is Tom? We call <coughs> Where is Tom? Where is Tom? Something like okay. remembering the activities which we did in the item. Work on cups. As now we are getting that concept of focusing on learner, we are going to wear now the heart of designers. Do you know designers? Designers. So in this case, we are going to design the learning outcomes. The learning outcomes. The learning outcomes are those uh, expectations. The outcomes which we expect from the from what we're going to present to learners. Okay? What we are going to present to learners. Let's talk about the learning outcomes. So we are going to design in such a way that we are going to choose a topic, the edge, and then designing those outcomes from the topic which we are going to choose. For example, for those who are in English, they are going to agree on the topic, the edge, and of course, learning out of the edge, it means to come to the class. Okay? Maybe you're talking about someone from two, from three, or maybe whatever. And then, what learning outcome, what expectation do you from these learners from that topic which you're going to choose? So we're going to do that as a group. I'll do on that one and then continue. So we're going to use how many minutes?
The non outcomes are of three categories that is in skills, knowledge, and attitude. So, talk of the knowledge, talk of what the learner already know, for example, in terms of definition and economic concept. Talk of the skill, talk of the, what the learner will be able to do, maybe drawing, for example. Right? Yeah. Talk of the attitudes, talk of the, the, the appreciation. Thank you. Now, would you please, would you please uh, stand up? Stand up, please. Stand up, please. Yes, I'm demonstrating. Yes, look at me. I'm putting my hand straight on you, okay? So, whenever I'm just putting this one, whenever I'm going this way, you have to clap the hands. One. Three. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sit down. Are you funny? Start one. Yeah, you give someone uh, mix. Mix. Start one. One. Three. Four. Five. Sit down. Okay. One.
смотреть. Вот вот смотрите.
Now let us move to another concept of learner's experience. Learner experience. Okay? I hope now you, you get an idea of what an experience is. Okay? You get an idea about what an experience is. Now in short you can say experience are those things which uh, a person is living those things which a person is living with. In such case, you can find nowadays uh, people are talking experience in the following way. They are talking about
So they are talking about you experience steady for user experience. Also, they talk about the C experience that is customer experience. And of course, they talk about <coughs> L experience that is learner experience. Now, what is user experience? In most cases, you're looking about the user experience. No matter we talk about how the user is going to interact with the product. So no matter the producer of the product, they are focusing on the users of that particular product. For example, in your mobile phone, in that part of uh, receiving and rejecting calls, there are some tags there. The green tag stands for receiving call, okay, good. And for red tag, rejecting call. That the producer of that product, they are normally considered about as a user. That's how a user is going to interact with the, the product. So they are focusing on how the user are going to get the experience in the using of the product. C experience, customer experience. Customer experience is where the customer is going to interact with the organization, with the firm, or talk about it, the institution. For example, you may find a very good hotel, for instance, where there is maybe saving a good food there, and everything is okay. So whenever you visit there, sometimes you may find maybe you are not satisfied with the services in that particular area. But they are saving a very good food. Maybe you find it somewhere else. In short, you can find here that the organization or the institution in that particular place are part of having a good food and whatever the services, but they cannot look about this experience of the customer. So normally, in looking about the C experience, you are looking about how the organization is going to interact with the customers. That's normally you can find it organization normally emphasizing on the customer care, okay? Customer care, they emphasize on the, how the experience is going to interact with the organization inside. And the other C, I mean the other X, that is talk about the other experience. Here we are now looking, we as teachers, how are we going to interact with the with the yeah. learners. How are we going now to interact the experience to the learners? That means leaving the experience to the learners. That's why whatever Brother Shafi is asking you, what kind of experience do you experience? Of course, in that particular days well in schools, you mentioned the positive and negative experience. Punishment, parade. That's what the, by that time, your teachers left that experience to you. That's why you remember even today, the punishment you did from that particular day, the parade you did, the play you did, that's the experience in which the teachers in that particular day left to you. Let's talk about the <coughs> learner experience. So in such case, uh, we normally, we as teachers, it's very important to focus on how we are going to leave this experience to learners in collaborating with these two experiences. 
the user and of course the customer experience. So in such case, for example, those who are dealing with the customers, that in this customer's experience, they normally focusing on how do they going to increase profit in their activities. So they focus mainly on either users or maybe focusing them on customers because their intention at the end is to get maximum profit. So here, our focus we as teachers in this learner's experience is to leave the impact to learners. To leave something where learners are going to remember us in terms of knowledge, in terms of attitudes, and in terms of skills. How this can be done? So, if we be focusing more in this particular area, it means our end journey in learning process, we are going to leave the impact to learners. Like, unlike these users and the customers who are mainly focusing on living uh, or getting profits to their organization. That's why it's very important to know this uh, three concept, in particular focusing on learners' uh, experience. Add one thing. Yes. What was the customer experience? For example, customer experience. What are examples of customer experience? Yes, any more examples of customer experience? Yes, brother. For the fact, for the side of the maybe the student performed the exam, they're going to give the rewards. And those who also perform, you're going to motivate them by making a certain reward. That's it. Are you talking about the rewards? Yes, to play as experience. Yeah. Okay? Uh, so we need to give more examples on this uh, customer's experience. What's, what's yeah. the aim? Let's take a look example. What's the aim of the customer experience? Wow. Uh, okay. I don't know what I'm going to say. Customer experience, uh, you're talking about the services. Yes. Yes. And, and that's, me, that's what I'm talking about. To give the rewards. Rewards. This is the same as customer service. Here, here the, 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 the percentage of the profit. When well, you talk of the business, this is the same economy, right? So the, the evolution from the user to the customer. Now, the cost of the profit, making higher profit, we put the other the here for you to feel how to find our services. What is your feeling? Okay? Find the sufficient box. How do you feel? They want to get your feeling that they, they get more customers, they get more profit. So the next question, then experience. What is our aim? What is our direction? You see, this is the world, the world direction, the global direction. The world is now moving to the experience. If you switch on your smartphone, you find the word experience. Okay? <laughs> Go to the ticket place and they say to come the experience. Okay? <laughs> if the world now is moving to experience. So the, 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 the learning of the education cannot be a learner alone. That's why we talk about the new era of education. It's now the learner. So our focus in learner experience is what? Impact. Okay? And then the impact to give to the learner. What the learner should remember. Now we talk of the experience, also we talk of the, all the mental, physical, and knowledge, talk of the emotions. We talk of the all human, okay? the whole journey of learning, right? What we are not talking about the knowledge, we are talking of the whole journey, the emotions, the mental, okay? and then everything. So, that's why I was just trying to emphasize. Now it's an evolution. 
the user experience, now people are talking about the customer experience. Last time, one of our friends, Say now on the computer, you are going to go, you have to take over the using of the computer or the connectivity. It's that. So when you fly the, the, the telephone, you say the capacity. What do you call it? Memory. Memory. <laughs> the issue is memory. How much can you store? <laughs> the question is not the internet, you have moved. Okay. Now we have moved to the experience. So the new era of education in this case, top of the 21st century talk of the values, talk of the leisure experience, right? That's what we call it, the new era of education. Okay? So here now we are, we are in the journey from the user, customer to learner's experience. Now do please sit in pairs, in pairs, in pairs. In pairs, please. Now, would you please discuss uh, what is your feeling now in this concept? What's your feeling in this concept of experience from this version, from user, customer, up to this learner's experience? What's your feeling? Now, let's get discuss in details. What's your feeling?
So I tried to see to what extent this concept is important. As a teacher, you know, this concept is to us, it's very important. This is our this moment. Those are those are those are Korea. You feel this what extent this thing is important. What extent? Eh? The whole young man, they are they are watching the mindset. So the question here. As I said, well, move from teacher to educator. Now, the teacher educator is not just coming now and in preparation. It is changing the mindset, right? And your mindset is here. Now we have to move this way now. My mindset has changed. When I was very naive, someone is human, a whole person. Stand up. ourselves from the day on which we, we ate that ice cream, maybe the one who ate that yesterday, <laughs> come here first, uh, before yesterday, and then, and then, and then up today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
as the school. We make our experience as our, our learners now learn and experience. Okay? We have to discuss the actions to make our learners and they have that remember the school. Have that experience. Who wants our my learners to do? For example, I my I make my learners to have to find the learning enjoyable, okay? The learning experience is enjoyable. I want to make that they enjoy the school. The experience, when they think that the other thing is, I enjoy being in the school of school, right? Okay? That's the experience what you want to, to have, right? Now, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What actions are you going to do to make the learners remember that they enjoy be at Ibu Islamic High School. And the example of the action? Yeah? Yes. Maybe in part of the action you have mentioned, for example, let them play. Okay? <laughs> you organize play. Study tours. Or study tours. So I want you to think of the actions as teachers. To make your learners to find, to get a certain experience. One certain experience, I'll give an example of the joy. Okay? Go ahead. That's key action, of course, fine. Which we chose was uh, 
uh, a debate action. When the debate is, is used or is concerning to English language, for those who are teaching English language, they know. And the, the process was to supervise to learners that that they So the uh, experience is just debating and this is the direction for and the using more time in talking as well as school competition and uh, is to improve the other possibilities. Yes? What experience in the action? That's one? It's just learning by doing. Okay. And then you learn what you do. You do some exercise, practice. Now, now, please just come. Here. Learner 
Academic setting or non academic setting. Now, the focus, as I said, is talk about the engagement. Then we talk of the, 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 the first or talk of the active. The active. We are not talking about that level should also be big. It's not a question of movement in the class. How much we get in the how much the learners can reflect what they are learning, how can they relate to the really life, the reality. That's what we talk about the experience. Here, here I talk about the experience and the future experience. That's it. how can they apply what they are learning in school. So we are now talking about the first framework. So what we talk about the basic problem is now we are talking of the five domains. Here we have letters F, I, R, S, T. One, two, three, four, five. These are domains. So each domain consists of three principles. Okay? So there are a total of 15 principles. Now, in the classroom or in the learning environment, this happening, they integrate each other. These domains are integrating each other. You know why? Because the learning experience happens anyhow. Like, in order to the learning experience, it can become either negative or positive. Our concern is to facilitate the success. So our 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 the whole of the rest of the days we'll be talking about this domains. I discuss about <coughs> this domains and its principles. Okay. Well, since we started by the time to build your why should we talk about first? We talk about the that you remember from school, talk about the pole and push, talk about the bottom the cups. I tend to build off. It's a sense to learn a sense. Then we talk about the learner experience. Now how do we build learner experience? We build learner experience via all through First framework. Okay. Good, 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 good. Can you say anything about what I've said about this framework? What are the key ladies? The first framework. What can you say about the first framework? Then I said to Brothers concerning to the framework and the insights. How do you find? Can we change the places? Move to your properties. Let's shift a lot. Same places, same places. Same places, please. Sit in some ways.
So now we are going to focus. So we are the F domain. The F domain. F domain stand for focusing. Stand for stand for focus. Stand for focusing. Stand for focusing. Stand for focusing. Stand for Focusing. Focusing. Stand for focusing. 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 Yeah, that is uh, domain F in the first framework. Then the focusing uh, will consist of three principles which is individualization and we have probing and assessing and we have trusty the learner we have individualization we have probing and assessing and we have trusty the learner so in such case we are going to discuss this one because we have that uh, knowledge kit Everybody have knowledge kit? Knowledge book? Do you have knowledge book? Yes. Just go to that. And in the groups, please. Can you share this group? Yes. This one? Okay. And then use the cards. Okay, use the cards. That's this group. We are following the second group, group number one, group number one. Let us take that step. That card, eh? Focusing. Just go through that card.
please. Hop up with the Go to your uh, circle, please. Go to your circle, please. Now, before we share, let's emphasize on the uh, When you say focusing, you are saying it's your first dream, your first dream. You focus on, on what? On learner behavior. So it is focusing on learner Say it. Focusing on learner behavior. Focusing on learner behavior. Focusing on learner behavior. Focusing on what? On learner behavior. Now, what do you say, learner? What do you say, learner? Let's talk about these two terms. Behavior, learner. Okay, let's start with behavior. What does behavior mean? What does behavior mean? What's behavior? The observable activities, the internal processes, the feeling, the emotions. Now, when you say learner, what do you emphasize on when you put ara, so many arras, but let me speak, you emphasize learner to of the individual learner. Each learner is unique. Okay? So learner is an emphasis on uniqueness of the learner. But each learner has a unique behavior, has his own emotions activities. Okay. So I say focus on learner behavior. We are trying to, to focus on individual learners' behavior, right? Okay? Good. Now share. Share. Okay brothers. Now it's the time for listening on each problem. What do they have to others? So we are going to listen what you are prepared on that principle number one in the individualization. We are going to explain to others. The same group number two, we are going to listen what you are assessing. The same was group number three, first the end. Which group will we want to start with? Yes. Now, can I say this? Yes. Our principle is about individualization. So, this is one among the principles of focusing. <coughs> it emphasizes the teacher to focus on the needs of an individual student because each individual is unique. The teacher has to be focused on each needs to achieve the individualization. One among the methods the teacher can use to achieve the individualization can use the individual assignments. By giving the individual assignments to the students and going around how the students are doing, check and they can be the student to do that individual assignment. The teacher can check if the students are doing okay and can try to discuss with the students what's the problem. And the students can ask several questions from that assignment if the student was not able to understand the assignment there. So that's what we have discussed about the individualization. Yes, very good. Yeah, in fact, here, the presenter is talking about uh, emphasizing on uh, opening the communication channel among individuals. 
to make sure that you have the communication channel among uh, talk about the Renner uh, and concerning on the matters on Renner. That's what he said. Okay? Group number. I guess what in relation. If we remember giving our vote on the cups, how did the implementation take place? Remember what was going to be experiment number two? Do you remember what it was? Yes. There's someone who can tell us about that. You know? At the beginning, we started distributing water by the universities. And the next thing, you just tried to, to make sure that every individual learner has got in the sun blocks of water. Then after, we were just checking if a well cup was having water. So, yeah, but well, well, surely you can see the learner get enough water or a certain amount of water. You smile, you show the face that you are caring. So, so you are talking about one-to-one -one communication. You are taking care of this needs that every learner is has its own needs. Okay? Yeah. Okay, uh, this is be a group number two, talking about probing and the assessing. This Probing and assessing here, we will focus on uh, I mean, tracking the, the students' progress. And then in the probing and assessing by, by giving them some, some questions, assessment activities, observation, and, and observing what is going on. If you find that they are on the track, then <coughs> you will realize that are doing good, but uh, different from that, then you will find another way of making things good again. Okay, it's good. So here we're talking about uh, going through the groups, looking about the individuals, activities, as questioning, and even how this individuals I mean, learn around progress in each group, and even observing what are they doing. Let's talk about the probing and the assessing. Okay? You will see, can you tell us the, what you observe in the bottom of the cups about the assessing, probing and assessing? Is there someone again to talk about uh, how did you observe in the, that bottom of the cups? Bottom of the cups in this probing and assessing? What's the, what's the observation? What's the facilitator, facilitator doing? The model cup, let's refer to session two. Uh, and our uh, probing in the assessing, there is a uh, development along session. Therefore, when we refer to Learners have got some group of work that is, we can say, development alone. You know, so learners do not have uh, some drinks of water, then the teachers will make sure that the learners are always full. That's if you observe that the facilitator is doing some going through and checking, eh? observing, okay? observing through your cups. And to make sure that every learner has at least some minimum water, okay? To about probing and assessing. And he's sometimes even asking, that is, yeah? that okay? Let's share with it. Let's talk about the probing and the assessing. Okay, trust the learner. So, uh, the third principle. But on linear behaviors. Learner. Learner behavior. So, uh, so all about the trust the learner. To believe your learner. The main concept about to believe your learner that are rich, 
in your previous experience, knowledge, what they got. So how do you are going to put them? We are going to as a question to them to make a group discussions eh? or question and answer. But to, uh, the only trust here is to lead them without interfering. But at the end of the day, after the discussion, maybe during presentation, you can add any comments after session or during the sessions and how you are going to measure the, uh, the, the, the learner's abilities. That's all. Okay, so trust the learner is the presenter said that you're talking about it. Believe in your learner. Yeah, believing that learners even they have something in their in their minds, okay? So they are not empty headed. They have something. So you have to trust them that they have something to contribute also. So make sure that you are going to utilize to give that opportunity learners to utilize what they have in, uh, in, in your course facilitating their experience. Just talk about the trusty learners. Okay, brothers, yeah, do you have an insight, please, on this? Uh, focusing and uh, its three principles. Any insight, please? You have. Eh? Okay, don't have. So, would you please uh, can you please stand up? Put your things. Now we're going to demonstrate how we are going to remember this principles, okay? Mm -hmm. the C and D, yeah? Okay? We are talking about it. Focusing. 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 Next. Next. Next, trust the learner. Okay. Okay. This is focusing. Focusing. Next, individualization. Next, problem assessing. Next, trust the learner. Somebody can come and show us. Anybody here, please? Focusing. Focusing, 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 individualization, 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 probing and assessing, probing and assessing, trusting the learner, trusting the learner. Good, somebody else, somebody else, please volunteer. Focusing, focusing, focusing. Focusing, individualization, individualization, probing and assessment, probing and assessing, trust in the learner, trust in the learner. Any 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 person please. Focusing, 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 individualization. 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 Probing and assessing. Probing and assessing. Probing and assessing. Probing and assessing. Trust the learner. Trust the learner. Trust the learner. Trust the learner.
Now, next step is we're going to look on the actions towards F domain. Actions towards F domain. Okay? We're in class. Now we're going to utilize the F domain. Okay? Remember, we are talking about what? F domain. Focusing. But please, we're talking about it? Focusing. Focusing. So we're going to set actions on applying F domains. F domain with its principles. So in that case, would you please stand up? Stand up, please. This one. So what I want from you is uh, to write some actions on each principle of and groups, okay? We're going to set a groups, so of course we're going to write some actions on each principle on this F domain. Uh, before that one. Okay. Yes. 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 On top of the problem, and say what are the activities. So, when you say actions, you have actions or behavior. So, what you to, 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 to discuss in each principle what actions are we going to do by that very principle. One, two, three. 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 Those count as the group number three. Number three. Number three. Okay, that's group number two. And those count as the number. Okay, group number. Group number two. Okay, very good. So this group, you are going to work on the behaviors on individualization. Just sit down here. The same this group. On probing and assessing. Okay? Group number two. And this one group number three. Trust the land. What are the behaviors?
is, for example, read about the direction of this one. Let's come on. Can you come, please? Stick a bit, come in. Sure.
focusing, we'll talk about individualization, probing and assessing, trust the, the learners. That's easy. Losing passion control by design. I was talking about focusing. Then I, I give the opportunity to the learner to come forward to talk about the focusing. That's me, you are just the learner. You are giving the opportunity. Losing partial control by design. It's not full control because you're already in the class. It's the partial control, right? Yes. Okay? That's it. So I'm going to say. The problem is that the guy is done. Walk, stop. Walk, stop. Walk, stop. Now, what is it about? One of the two ways, walk and stop, right? Walk. So, when they say walk, you walk. When they say stop, you stop. That's number one. So, let's tell you what I'm saying. So, I'll, I'll call it, I'll say walk, then you walk. No, no, no. Stop, stop. Okay. Walk. Stop. Walk. Stop. Walk. Stop. That's the one. Now, when you say walk, stop. When you say stop, walk. Okay. When you say walk, stop. When you say stop, walk. Walk. Stop. 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 Okay. Level three. Level three. When I say name, you call your name. Shafi. When I say clap, you clap. So you combine the two. The, the other command remains the same. Walk means stop, stop means walk. Then you call it name, call your name, clap and clap. The other command is ten. Stop. Name. <laughs> clap. <laughs> you have to call your own name. <laughs> <laughs> Walk, stop, name, clap. <laughs> <laughs> name means name, call your name, right? Club means club. Now it's the opposite. When you say name, club. When you say club, we call your name, right? The other command remains. Okay, stop. practice one 
we are going to design. Of course, first choose a topic. Okay, choose a topic. <coughs> and then you are going to design for 10 minutes. How are you going to facilitate the F domain through these three principles? So of course we are going to divide in groups. I'm going to make that one, dividing in groups. Then each one is going to do a facilitation of 10 minutes to his colleague. Okay? 10 minutes for designing. 10 minutes for facilitation. Three minutes for receiving feedback from your colleagues. So your colleagues are going to observe you. Okay? What are you doing? What are you applying this? Okay, principles of F domain. Then they are going to give you a feedback. In receiving feedback, please accept that feedback. Okay? And we expect that we are going to have a positive feedback. Positive feedback. That's what they're going to do. So there's some. Let me put this one. Why the country is organizing the groups? I understand the settler in terms of the method of your year. I mean, the, the man, the man, the method of bed. May. This way. May. 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 Someone in the April, May. May. April. April. Yeah. May. 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 May, 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 Take my what book? Get for the same. What part is the focus? The individualization of the assessment.
By the way, I want uh, you, my student, to find what is organic Again, let's something about organic Anything, you know. Anything. Can say anything.
Asking the learner their uh, feedbacks concerning what they have discussed. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yes, Take the marker pen, list down all the activities in order. The first activity is the most important one, 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 In order to discuss and agree, this is the first one, the second, and the third one. Okay? Take the marker pen. That's what I said. Activities. 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 Yes. Even those who are high. Yes. 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 Thank you. 
that will help a, a teacher to become a, a facilitator or educator. How do you find before? Before? How do you find before? Uh, before I was like, uh, because I'm a teacher, then I have to, to give what I have to my students. But now, I, I, I'm in the position of knowing that I'm not the one to, to, to bulldoze students. I have to, to, to check of what they, they are inside. They, they, are, they are not empty vessels. They have come in their heads. Okay. Good. That is the SMS. That is one. Huh? Any other, please? Any other insight that they want? How do you find, please? Something is most interesting. Today, it's very interesting. I mean, let's remember. Yes, please. During the session, I've been interested in the the way the facilities an individual exchanging the knowledge with the students to create the learners. have something. Maybe this time I trust them, my learners in such a way that uh, by providing a lot of questions to them and uh, I should uh, know that I am waiting for the feedback from, from them. Yes, by using those cups and bottles I have learned that when I, I teach my students by only effective way of, of, of getting the knowledge. Thank you very much. Now, uh, that will be the end of day one. Yes, a minute. Before we go to the closure, there is a information from the LMS. See? Go to the LMS, you find the discussion board, you find the micro-learning, what you call micro-learning. So when you go to the LMS, you find the F domain. So there is an article there find some questions to answer. You have the discussion board also. You have to, to give your feelings. So please, go to the MS, find some articles there, interact with them, okay? Make sure you go there. Then we're going to check who is not going there. <laughs> yeah. So, may I thank you for today's session. So, let me say that we shall meet more knowledge. At what time? At what time? Eight. Eight. Zero. 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 Thank you very much.